Hello, I'm Dr. Alan Thornhill and I'm the UK Country Manager at iGenomics. I'm going to tell you briefly about our sperm aneuploidy test, which we call SAT. For normal development, our bodies contain cells which must have two copies of each chromosome, a single copy from the mother's egg and a single copy from the father's sperm. Abnormalities in the correct number of chromosomes can cause failure to achieve pregnancy, miscarriage or serious genetic conditions such as Down syndrome. Here at iGenomics, the sperm aneuploidy test, SAT, uses a technique called FISH to identify the proportion of sperm with an abnormal number of chromosomes in a semen sample provided by the man. This test helps to determine the risk of transmission of paternal chromosomal abnormalities to the offspring. Patients with the highest risk of producing sperm with an abnormal number of chromosomes are those whose semen analysis results are abnormal. For example, a low sperm count absence of sperm in the ejaculate, or sperm with an abnormal morphology or shape. The risk is also higher in couples who have suffered miscarriages, who have not become pregnant after several cycles of assisted reproduction treatment, or who have had previous pregnancies with a chromosomal abnormality. The FISH technique used only analyzes five chromosomes, 13, 18, 21, X and Y. Changes in the number of these chromosomes can lead to miscarriage or even the birth of a baby with a serious genetic condition, such as Down syndrome. After collecting the ejaculated semen in a sterile container, it's important that it reaches the IVF or Andrology laboratory within one hour. Once received in the laboratory, the sample is washed and sent to iGenomics for testing. It's important to remember that SAT, like any other test, has its limitations. This test analyzes sperm directly, so if no sperm are present or there's a very low sperm count after initial evaluation of the sample, the test can't be performed. Only five chromosomes are analyzed. No information is obtained about chromosomes not included in the test. The FISH technique used only detect changes in the number of specific chromosomes. For this reason, it can't detect structural anomalies, such as chromosome translocation or inversion which are balanced in number and do not result in a gain or loss of chromosomal material. This test is not designed to analyze specific genes, so it can't detect mutations in a specific gene, such as, for example, those that cause cystic fibrosis or sickle cell anemia.